Hi everybody, welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. This time we're going to have a, a part two to our space theme. So we looked at creating kind of cloud nebulas and things last time with planets and rocks and things. We're going to do something a little bit simpler this time. And we're going to try and create more of a an explosion looking effect. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to set the blending mode to this layer, to screen. I'm going to pick a red colour and a soft brush. I'm going to create a red area within our picture. I'm then going to change colours to an orange. I'm going to move inside there. I'm then going to swap to white. I'm going to bring our brush down a little bit. Let's put a few spots in there. Now we're going to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And you want to get this really blurred up, really mixed in so there's no defined edges anywhere. 188 pixels, that's about right. Now I'm going to create a new layer this layer I'm going to set to a blending mode of color dodge and I'm going to filter render clouds now above this clouds layer I'm going to put a levels adjustment I'm going to bring our mid tones up some I think that will do us for now. Now we're going to create a new layer. Grab the elliptical marquee tool. Holding the shift key. I'm going to make a selection. I'm going to shift F5. Fill with black. I'm just going to use the move tool to drag that somewhere near the middle here and deselect. Now I'm going to double click on the end of the layer for this to bring up our layer style and we're probably going to look at three different things here. We're going to look at uh, satin. I'm going to select I'm going to change this to a normal blending mode. So it's a nice bright red. I'm going to move the size up to around about 150 pixels, thereabouts. And the distance. I'm going to bring in to around 73 pixels. I'm going to take the opacity down on that to around about 33%. I'm going to go to inner glow. Now I don't mind this colour, I mean we you can change this. We could go for a you know a more red or orangey colour, say something like that. And we're gonna take the size and move that up some way till we get a relatively nice highlight around the outside. Then we're gonna take that opacity down to take it back off again. Go to outer glow. I'm going to leave this yellow colour here. Uh, we're going to increase the size. Spread slightly. And the opacity will have somewhere around right about 60. Let's just push that size a little bit more. And OK. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get hold of this layer that's got our planet on I'm going to drag it down underneath the clouds layer now we've moved it down we can perhaps have another look at these settings and see if we can get this to look a little bit better so 
I'm going to take this inner glow right down to add a bit more contrast to the outside. Change the distance slightly on the satin. I'm also going to drop the opacity just a touch. The outer glow I'm happy with, so we'll leave that as is. So we'll just rename these. Gas cloud. Planet. Gas texture. And we know that uh, this levels adjustment at the top here. And we can just go into this levels adjustment again at the top here and just change the surface slightly. Get a slightly better contrast. Now the last thing I'll do is I've got a new layer. Get a brush tip. Uh, one of our flare presets. I'm just going to go for this one. And increase the size of that somewhat. Now I don't want that effect everywhere, so I'm going to create a layer mask on there. Grab a soft brush on the layer mask. Foreground color to black. I certainly don't want the effect up there, so I'm going to take all of that out. I'm going to lessen it a little bit around here. I'm going to change my opacity of the brush just to soften the effect as it goes out. Now I'm going to take the whole layer, use the opacity slightly and change the venue mode to hard light. Just a bit, a little bit more. Now there's nothing to say you couldn't add a hue saturation level above your clouds and change these to the cool lens so you could run on the blue colours. Um, obviously if you did that you would need to go back into your planet into the satin layer and change that to a, a very dark colour, either a very dark blue or a black and obviously adjust the settings accordingly um, but there's no reason that all the items on here cannot be changed completely differently if that's what you want to do. Um, the basis of this tutorial was just to give you an idea of how to create clouds in a different way um, should you need to. I hope you have fun with this. Until the next time, bye for now.